The world will remember this day. Welcome to our channel, Legend Explored, where we dive deep into the lives of remarkable individuals who have left an indelible mark on history. In today's episode, we'll explore the life and legacy of J. Robert Oppenheimer, a brilliant physicist, educator, and the scientific director of the Manhattan Project. Early Life and Education Julius Robert Oppenheimer was born on April 22, 1904, in New York City. Coming from an affluent family, his early exposure to intellectual pursuits and cultural activities laid the foundation for his future academic pursuits. Oppenheimer was the son of a German immigrant who had made his fortune by importing textiles in New York City. During his undergraduate studies at Harvard University, Oppenheimer excelled in Latin, Greek, physics, and chemistry, published poetry, and studied Eastern philosophy. After graduating in 1925, he sailed for England to do research at the Cavendish Laboratory at the University of Cambridge, which, under the leadership of Lord Ernest Rutherford, had an international reputation for its pioneering studies on atomic structure. Oppenheimer had the opportunity to collaborate with the British scientific community in its efforts to advance the cause of atomic research. Max Born invited Oppenheimer to University of Göttingen, where he met other prominent physicists, such as Niels Bohr and Payam Dirac, and where, in 1927, he received his doctorate. After short visits at science centers in Leiden and Zurich, he returned to the United States to teach physics at the University of California at Berkeley and the California Institute of Technology. In the 1920s, the new quantum and relativity theories were engaging the attention of science. That mass was equivalent to energy, and that matter could be both wave-like and corpuscular carried implications seen only dimly at that time. Oppenheimer's early research was devoted in particular to energy processes of subatomic particles, including electrons, positrons, and cosmic rays. He also did groundbreaking work on neutron stars and black holes. Since quantum theory had been proposed only a few years before, the university post provided him an excellent opportunity to devote his entire career to the exploration and development of its full significance. In addition, he trained a whole generation of U.S. physicists who were greatly affected by his qualities of leadership and intellectual independence. Contributions to Physics Oppenheimer's contributions to theoretical physics were profound. He made significant advancements in quantum mechanics, with his research focusing on electron-positron pair production and the behavior of subatomic particles. However, his legacy is most closely tied to his role in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. As the scientific director of the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer led a team of scientists at the Los Alamos Laboratory where groundbreaking research and collaboration culminated in the creation of the world's first atomic bomb. The Manhattan Project The rise of Adolf Hitler in Germany stirred his first interest in politics. In 1936, he sided with the Republic during the Civil War in Spain, where he became acquainted with communist students. Although his father's death in 1937 left Oppenheimer, a fortune that allowed him to subsidize anti-fascist organizations, the tragic suffering inflicted by Joseph Stalin on Russian scientists led him to withdraw his associations with the Communist Party. In fact, he never joined the party, and at the same time reinforced in him a liberal democratic philosophy. In 1939, Oppenheimer began an affair with Catherine Puning, a graduate student in botany at the University of California, Los Angeles. Huning divorced her husband and married Oppenheimer in 1940. After the invasion of Poland by Nazi Germany in 1939, the physicists Albert Einstein, Leo Szilard, and Eugene Wigner warned the U.S. government of the danger threatening all of humanity if the Nazis should be the first to make a nuclear bomb. 
Oppenheimer then began to seek a process for the separation of uranium-235 from natural uranium and to determine the critical mass of uranium required to make such a bomb. In August 1942, the U.S. Army was given the responsibility of organizing the efforts of British and U.S. physicists to seek a way to harness nuclear energy for military purposes, an effort that became known as the Manhattan Project. Oppenheimer was instructed to establish and administer a laboratory to carry out this assignment. In 1943, he chose the plateau of Los Alamos, near Santa Fe, New Mexico. For reasons that have not been made clear, Oppenheimer in 1942 initiated discussions with military security agents that culminated with the implication that some of his friends and acquaintances were agents of the Soviet government. This led to the dismissal of a personal friend on the faculty at the University of California. In a 1954 security hearing, he described his contribution to those discussions as a tissue of lies. The joint effort of outstanding scientists at Los Alamos culminated in the first nuclear explosion on July 16, 1945, at the Trinity site near Alamogordo, New Mexico, after the surrender of Germany. In October of the same year, Oppenheimer resigned his post. In 1947, he became head of the Institute for Advanced Study and served from 1947 until 1952 as chairman of the General Advisory Committee of the Atomic Energy Commission, which in October 1949 opposed development of the hydrogen bomb, controversies, and legacy. However, Oppenheimer's involvement in the atomic bomb project also sparked controversy. His political beliefs and associations with left-leaning groups led to suspicions of his loyalty, and he faced scrutiny during the Red Scare. His security clearance was revoked, and he was subjected to a series of hearings. Despite the challenges he faced, Oppenheimer continued his contributions to science and academia. He became the chairman of the General Advisory Committee of the United States Atomic Energy Commission and was a professor at Princeton University. Final Years and Legacy J. Robert Oppenheimer passed away on February 18, 1967, leaving behind a legacy that continues to shape the world. His work in physics, his leadership during the Manhattan Project, and his dedication to education have left an enduring impact on science policy, and ethics. As we reflect on the life of J. Robert Oppenheimer, we're reminded of the complexities of history and the moral dilemmas that scientific advancements can present. His story serves as a reminder of the power of human intellect and the responsibility that comes with wielding it. If you found this exploration of J. Robert Oppenheimer's life intriguing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more captivating biographies that delve into the lives of remarkable individuals who have shaped our world.